Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Lee n a g y e o n a presidential contender of the ruling DP, said he will leave his parliamentary seat to commit entirely to the presidential race on Wednesday during a press conference in the southern city of Gwangju, known for being traditionally a support base of the ruling party. He said he decided to give up his seat to march toward winning the presidency in order to safeguard the values of the Democratic Party and democracy. The ex-Justice Minister c h u m i e also a presidential candidate, heavily criticized l e e and said he made a hasty decision and must withdraw from the race. Investor concerns took over 6.89 trillion won off of Kakao's market cap, giving Kakao shares a drop of 10.06%. to 138,500 won and underperforming the broader Kospi's uh, 0.77% loss. Kakao's rival online portal Naver also plunged 7.87% to 409,500 won, losing 5.7 trillion won in market capitalization. The ruling DP had criticized both companies' actions on unfair trade practices, which include abuse of its market position and attempts to raise service fees. Finally, t r e s a w o n whose legal name was more famously known previously as t r e s u n s h i l won a lawsuit against An Min s e o k a lawmaker from the ruling Democratic Party. t r e sued An for damages on suspicion of concealing properties, and the judge had ruled in favor of the plaintiff t r e and ordered An to pay 100 million won to t r e s a w o n Ahn did not uh, have an attorney when filing the lawsuit or submitted a written response after the petition was delivered, so the judge had issued the decision without any arguments and without any content or need for further judgment. t r e s a w o n was accused of meddling in state affairs and gained access to confidential government files during the Park g e u n h e government. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, News Seminar.